It was a lucrative business, a state medical school near Dallas making money by dissecting, studying, and exporting hundreds of unclaimed bodies. But after a nearly year-long investigation by NBC News, the school, which initially defended the practice, made a stunning reversal and suspended the program. We were completely failed by the entire system. Despite the change, for many of the families impacted, like Michael Coleman's, there's still so much left unanswered. I used to cry all day, every day. Now I just cry at least once every day. Coleman's fiance, Louisa, and his sisters, Shay and Tisha, spent months searching for him after he didn't come home. It turns out he had died, possibly hit by a car near his apartment. Within days, Michael Coleman's family began searching this neighborhood, even putting up missing persons flyers, all while Michael was languishing in a hospital just minutes away. But despite the family calling the hospital, calling police, calling the medical examiner's office, nobody connected the dots. When the family finally did, it was too late. The Health Science Center was already preparing his body for a 12 to 24 month study. I told that lady, give his body back, and she's like, well, no, because he was donated to us, but he was wrongfully donated to y'all. Ten companies and medical schools that paid the university to use body parts have since told us they did not know those parts often came from unclaimed bodies. One of those companies, National Bioskills Laboratories, paid $900 for the torso of U.S. military veteran Victor Honey, who we told you about earlier this week. Were you aware that your laboratory was using body parts of unclaimed people? No, not at all. First time I heard about it was when uh, NBC News contacted me. It says donated on the paperwork. What did you think that meant? That they donated their bodies for this purpose. Are you going to change course in any way now knowing what you know? Yes, absolutely. We need to know exactly who consented. Um, I would like to know that. While training on unclaimed bodies is legal in most of the country, many U.S. medical schools have halted the practice. A few states, including Hawaii, Minnesota, and Vermont, have outright banned it. But because no national data exists about how common it is, NBC News conducted its own survey, reaching out to 51 major medical schools in 29 states. 44 of them told us they don't use unclaimed bodies. The rest didn't answer. What is the moral question here? What do we owe the dead? And what do we owe their loved ones? What Eli Shoup is a bioethicist advocating for a national ban. Who is most likely to be deemed an unclaimed body? People who die poor. These are marginalized communities who are being affected by this practice. A local med school has justified this practice to me in terms of it diversifying their cadaver lab. They'll come out and say, this is a great way for our students to get training on black bodies. But I don't think that that's a feather in your cap if you've just taken that black body without consent. Without consent. I think that in some sense, it is modern day grave robbing. That's exactly what Coleman's sisters feel happened to him. He was a black man with a criminal record. Do you think that the officials took your family seriously? No, because of his past, because he's black. Officials with Dallas and Tarrant counties and the Health Science Center have declined NBC News's repeated requests for interviews. But just this week, after the university suspended its program and after, after NBC, NBC News aired the first part of this story, degrees. both counties held meetings State addressing now. the failures. Not, For Louisa... He's just another body to them. <laughs> it's a step towards closure, but still no justice. He wasn't a missing person. He had family that loved him. He wasn't nothing. That, that's how they treated him, like he wasn't nothing, when he was everything to me. Liz Kreutz, NBC News, Dallas. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.